Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be doing a question and answer, well Q&A, same thing, but I wanted to do one, an updated one, just because I know a lot of you guys always ask me on Instagram uh, a lot of different things. Um, and a lot of the questions are very repetitive, so I was like, why not just update you guys on some questions that you guys might have. <sighs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. Um, I went to the kitchen to make myself a michelada. By the way, this is um, with Odul's. Of course, I'm not going to drink alcohol <sighs> right now that I'm pregnant, but... If I do really crave it, which I don't actually, which I'm so surprised that I don't crave it because with Nathan I would crave it way more. Um, but I don't crave it that much this pregnancy, especially because I have such bad heartburn. And I already know I'm going to get heartburn after this, so. But I still was kind of like, that would be cute for me to sit down and answer some questions with a michelada. And that way you guys can feel like I'm drinking with you guys. We can get started with this video. But before I do, um, please don't forget to give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your post notifications for the future videos. Oh, and by the way, this dress is by from my boutique. Um, I love it, you guys. It's so comfortable. I think I showed you guys already on a uh, haul. Um, what it looks like but let me go ahead and start answering some questions I barely did this like an hour ago so it's probably not gonna be too many questions I should have probably waited longer but for now we can answer these okay so regarding classy lady which is my business if you don't know I do have an online store slash boutique um, if you guys would like to check it out it'll be down below in the um, description box and yeah you guys can check it out there but yeah I sell women's clothing so uh, this question has to do with that it says do you plan on having PR packages to make your business grow I actually don't plan on that I already do have people that I collaborate with and they help me promote my business but I actually don't um, plan on like having like a larger PR list um, usually my collaborations are once or twice only and then after that I just you know give somebody else a try just because I'm um, give someone else a chance um, just because you guys my business is still very small I cannot afford to you know just send packages to just all these people and I just can't afford that right now so or, you know when I do do col uh, collaborations I do still send them out for free um, but it's only like a limited a limited amount of people at a time like five a month or five every two months you know it just depends so you know I'm not that big yet for me to like just spend all this money on giving out free clothes but maybe in the future do you plan on going back to keto after the baby is born so right now as you guys know I am not on keto and I was on keto for about three months before I got pregnant so um, I do want to uh, go back on keto um, my doctors I talked to them about it um, I talked to two doctors about it and I talked to one nutritionist so I did like I said I talked to two doctors and one nutritionist about me being on keto while pregnant um, and None of them rec recommended for me to be on keto while I was pregnant. I don't know why exactly, but they just told me to just, you know, eat carbs that just follow a, a good diet, you know, um, not necessarily too extreme to, as to go on keto, but they did recommend for me to get off of keto. And then I also talked to the nutritionist about breastfeeding and while, you know, on keto and she said that she also... She also said that she didn't recommend that, so I am thinking that I am going to see how how fast I'm losing weight because that's like my main priority. Like, um, of course, you know, feeding my daughter will be is the reason why I am not going to be on keto. Um, but also, I I need to feel good about myself, you know. So, you know, if if after three months I'm not where I want to be. Um, I don't expect to lose all of my I already gained 28 pounds I don't expect to lose all of my pregnancy weight 
like in the first month um, but if it's like I'm only losing like five pounds in those three months then I might just have to stop um, following a certain diet and then try keto um, hopefully my milk supply will still be good I'm not really sure the reasoning behind why I can't be on keto and breastfeeding I would still I'm I would still have to look into the like research it a little bit more I don't know if the ketones affect the milk or what but that's something that I, I'm still I'm not sure about um, but I do plan on being back on keto after I'm done breastfeeding what was the hardest part of moving states so I feel like the hardest part is just not knowing what to expect um, and not having anyone here that was the hardest for me because I mean for all of us you know I mean for Sergio and I because it was kind of like okay you know hopefully it works out and if it doesn't like what are we gonna do you know um, also you know obviously being apart from your family you don't have any family here um, luckily we do have Sergio's cousin which is the only family family that we have here is his cousin and his wife and they have welcomed us you know with open arms and they've introduced us to their friends so we're able to like go out with them and do things that we would normally do with our friends with them and you know we now have like a relationship with them where we can like oh you know on Sundays we go hang out and stuff like that so we won't just be alone you know but yeah in the beginning it was kind of hard because we really did not have anyone um it was something to get something very different to get used to because we used to always be around people we used to always be around our family or friends doing you know carne asadas things like that but sometimes you just have to do th what's right for you and sometimes you know you cannot stay in the same cycle things have to change in order for you to grow and we took the step for that reason so um i feel like that's like the heart that was the hardest part um but other than that you know living here it's just been like a total um 360 i feel like it's definitely worth you know not having our friends close or family close I feel like our our sacrifice was worth it you know do you trust your fiance are you a jealous girlfriend um yes I trust my fiance so I used to be very very jealous you guys um very very jealous and there was reasonings behind you know my jealousy it's not just like it grew out of nowhere you know there was things that Sergio did lie to me about and you know for me it was very 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 like hard to get over and it was not cheating or anything like that but it was still like you know my trust you know breaking my trust so um yes I do trust him um like when it comes to like girls and stuff I just feel like when it comes to cheating in general I just feel like he knows that I would never tolerate that um no matter what no matter if I'm like six kids in and you know he cheated or something and it was just like a one-time thing I don't know I would not be able to live with that just because that just would haunt me forever that's for me something you know there's a lot of people that are able to forgive that but for me that is just like the total no-no and that for me is like like then no chala mañana that's how it, i would end things and i know a lot of people would say oh no but you wouldn't try for your kids no i would not try for my kids because i'm not gonna be f with someone just for my kids and at that point when you cheat on me i just feel like i would be like how am i gonna be with you if i don't you don't you obviously don't love me so i don't why am i be, just knowing that i'm with you just for the kids like that, that sounds like miserable to me you know so yes I do fully trust him just because I know that you know even me you know he has a lot to lose um, obviously he knows that I would not tolerate that not even like a one-time thing he would be the one losing his family he would be the one losing his um, kids you know if for I feel like for him and for me like we both grew up in a broken family so I feel like it's more like we know what it's like to grow up with our parents separated and things like that because of you know different things um, but regardless you know me too I feel like if if I'm doing it then I'm doing it to my kids too like I'm breaking up a family you know so I don't like sit here and wonder like oh my god is he gonna cheat on me today like I'm just like okay well if sometimes I do have like insecure moments um, 
especially right now that I'm pregnant, like I get like a little bit insecure, you know, because I don't feel the sexiest, you know. I I know that I, I look different, so you know that's not something that I I overthink just because it's like, well, I mean, if it happens, it's gonna happen. Like I can't prevent it from happening. I can't stop it. And I would like imagine being stressed out at home all day, every single day, just wondering that. That's horrible. Like for me, that's so super miserable. So I do trust him, you know. So yeah, I'm not really jealous. I'm jealous of, about obvious things, but he does. He used to be more like, like sin vergüenza about some things, you know. Like he'll be like, like I said before, he used to check out girls in front of me, like literally, like up and down, and th obviously that's gonna make me feel like shit, you know. So I would be jealous about things like that. But now it's like, I don't know. It's a little bit different now. Like more, I'm a little bit more secure about myself and I feel like a lot of that jealousy came from my own insecurity as well so I feel like the more secure you are the more like you're gonna be less jealous um what do you miss about Cali I miss my family I mean I miss being close to my family I realize now that I took it I took advantage of the fact that they live so close to me but yeah, I mean, I feel like my family and my friends, you know, I, I definitely feel like I took advantage of the fact that they li they used to live so close to me and half an hour away, and I, I wouldn't really um I wouldn't really visit them. But um yeah, I feel like that. But like I said, it's definitely worth the sacrifice. Moving over here versus being over there, it was just very very da dangerous for us. And even you know now that we're growing our family. I feel like it's more worth it because now, you know, my daughter's um, being born to kind of like um, like where I want to raise her. You know, I want, I don't want, I didn't want to raise my kids in a place where it was so dangerous where I was going to be. I mean, obviously it's dangerous everywhere, but where there's so much violence and where I couldn't, I could hear gunshots at night, every single night, it was just not something ideal for me for my family do you like rock music no so a lot of people know this if you've been following my channel for a long time you know that I like corridos I like banda and I like reggaeton those are like my three only music that I listen to I don't even listen to English music you guys I don't listen to English music at all um, if I do it's like MC magic or NB writers like things like that but I don't listen to like English music what moisturizer do you recommend for sensitive skin um honestly I've been using ponds for a really long time and it's always worked really good but if you're super sensitive I would recommend something from Aveeno or even something like baby like a baby lotion or something just because I know a lot of people are super sensitive I feel like maybe the you know finding something that would be okay for a baby should be fine for your face because baby skin is very sensitive but if you want to try ponds ponds is really good I mean that's what I've been using for years and um, but my skin is not really sensitive like that so I can't really say what are you naming your baby if you don't want to give it away what are your favorite baby names okay so I'm not gonna give it away um, I'll probably maybe maybe for my baby shower I'll give it away um, I'm not sure yet but we already said the middle name the middle name is Sergio had already chose for like he had already was said on that name he was like I want this name and you know I just kind of felt like I'm not gonna be like the crazy person that is like no I'm gonna choose the name and that's it like I'm gonna give him his um, place you know and he wants his first daughter's name to be Aria the middle name um, so that's her middle name, Aria. Um, I'm not, I am going to say though, the names don't really go together. And that's something that I was like, it kind of bugged me for a while, but I mean, I can't really tell Sergio to change his and I don't want to change mine. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't, it, it's not like people are going to actually be t calling her by her full name, but you know, in my head, I'll, I'll always know that they don't really go, you know, but um, so Aria is going to be the middle name and one of my like um, I had a lot of really cute names that I really liked I liked um, Everly Everly was I was gonna we were gonna name her Everly that was like my number one choice for a really long time 
um the only thing is that <laughs> you guys i started telling my family like that's gonna be her name everly and they were like none of them you guys none of them could say it like they were like what like que es eso? and it just made me feel like damn like that's gonna i'm always gonna have to struggle like sometimes with nathan i never really thought about that you know i just named him nathan and his name is nathan, nathan sebastian but there is a lot of part of my family that doesn't know how to say nathan and i know it sounds easy for us but there's a lot of people that don't know they're like what what the hell like your grandparents you know and they call him sebastian they call him sebas or sebastian if they don't know his name actually a majority part of our family calls him sebastian or nay my family calls him nay um and you know if not sebastian but it's really rare when people actually say nathan it's only like people our age um that know english you know they'll call him by his name nathan i mean sebastian is his name too but they'll call him by his middle name you know but it's kind of like really difficult so i i took that into consideration this time around and i was like okay they're already asking me it's already i very early i barely told like five people the name and they're already confused as fuck about the name so i was like maybe that's not the name that i should be having my daughter like that's just too white i guess so everly was so beautiful it's still so beautiful um and i would have loved if it could have been like then my name choice and then everly and then you know her last name but Sergio really wanted Aria, so we had to make that fit in there somehow. But Everly was like my number one choice. And then I also liked like Valentina, Victoria. Um, I wanted something very short. But this name that I chose you guys um, has a kind of like a story behind it. Uh, we were watching some documentary and it just really touched us. It was so, so sad and I kind of named my baby girl after this little girl that you know got killed got mur murdered um and i just feel like it's always gonna remind me because that story you guys that i heard it just every time i think about it it breaks my heart and i just cannot like the details about it i just cannot imagine like i cannot begin to imagine someone doing this you know but i really like that's the first time i ever heard the name so you know that's how i kind of got inspired but I also because that story is just so sad to me how many kids do you plan on having so I do plan on having three at least three I never really had like a big family and my brother and my sister were very far apart were seven years apart each so I'm seven years apart from my brother and my brother is seven years apart from my little sister so I'm 14 years apart from my little sister so you know I never really had the sibling kind of connection it was always kind of like the older sister and it was never like we would never fight obviously because we had nothing to fight about like we were kind of taking care of each other instead um but I kind of want like a different relationship for my kids hopefully you know at least three three or four I'm not really sure yet but at least three natural birth or c-section so I am gonna be having I mean the plan is to have a natural birth but again like we don't know last minute things can change you know and hopefully everything works out and i am able to have a normal birth but again like you know it can always go both ways and if worse comes to worse and i have to have like an emergency c-section then i just have to have it there's like not even it's not even my choice but the plan is to go in for a natural birth okay guys so that's gonna be it for this video um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!